Bill. If I'm on board the space station, this uh, camera is in the Destiny Laboratory and is moving to the aft. Check that, moving forward. Now into the uh, Harmony module. The space shuttle is through that hatch directly in front of us. And moving through pressurized mating adapter number two into the uh, shuttle's orbiter docking system. The ODS uh, moves into the shuttle's mid-deck, where you can see that there's a, a good deal of material that is uh, headed home that uh, the crew members are still packing up. From the mid-deck up the stairs onto the shuttle flight deck. If you, if you manually move it into a position where it's right on one of its locking gimbals, then you get this erratic... So it just goes around there. Pilot Alan Poindexter in the cap. Yeah. Flight uh, mission specialist Leland Melvin. We got, we got the hot mic? Yep. Well, that, we're recording. Hey, everyone. It's Columbus Day. Columbus it Day. Columbus Day. <laughs> Columbus Day in February. What can you see from here? Let's see. Why don't you come up? It's a beautiful day. Over and a view out the overhead America. windows. South America. Of a uh, pressurized mating adapter, the most forward part of the uh, International Space Station. Race the checks, yeah. Bus. The bus. Mission specialist Dan Tani looking out those overhead windows. Oh man, yeah. Tani has been in space now for more than 112 days. Most of that, uh, 107 or so of those days, spent as a crew member on board the International Space Station. We got work to do? Transfer. Transfer. You got transfer to do. What are you sitting around here for? Probably another half hour. Half hour? Okay. Yeah. So about 10, 15 minutes transfer. Looking out at the uh, space station's integrated truss structure. Now the forward panels on Harmony. Go ahead, Nick. Hey, Steve. Uh, not much in cabin photography today, but I think we've got some uh, a few pictures on three different cards: uh, world map. Okay, that's great. I should tell you that uh, here in console here, we've been watching your photos every day, and uh, again, there's an awful lot of good photographers on board. Just amazing. Yeah, we had some great training, and uh, there's obviously uh, no lack of subjects up here. It's a colorful bunch. The current space to ground communication as Alan Poindexter lets Mission Control in Houston know that there will be cards loaded up in the computers for photos to downlink overnight. The video playback continues. You see Leland Melvin on the shuttle mid deck. Houston, Atlanta is for transfer. Hey, go ahead. Hey, Kevin, message 36 Alpha. There's a question and answer period in. Item number 704 for return is complete. And now the camera retreating from the mid deck back into the orbiter docking system and turning to move back into the International Space Station into a pressurized mating adapter number two at the forward end of the station. Now back inside the Harmony node. Things conveniently located. The port side in this view is now to the right, which means the camera operator and camera are flying upside down relative to up and down inside the station. Looking through to the airlock, 
Peggy Whitson and Steve Frick are in the equipment lock section. Beyond the hatch, beyond them, is the crew lock section, which would indicate that this video was shot at some point uh, during yesterday's spacewalk with the uh, crew lock isolated and the equipment lock uh, I know they're cool. And Whitson again showing off the uh, Stars and Stripes socks, which uh, she made reference to earlier in the day today. They are sharp looking. Apparently, her secret Santa was astronaut Shannon Lucid. Yeah, I feel so drabbed in my. I'm going to get something a little more showy. <laughs> Camera rotating through forward and the port sides. Now the aft side of the Unity node. We're moving through PMA number one. Oh, the... Now back out of PMA one. Flight engineer Yuri Malenchenko there in the view. Which way are you going to go? You want to come this way? In the, uh, the other way. Check that. That's the Leopold Arts in the Zarya module. It's the newest member of the International Space Station crew, having relieved Dan Tani. I thought you would never ask. Here we go. It's all on panel R1. It's about six lines. Cryo O2, tank one, heater alpha to off. Tank two, heater alpha to auto. Tank three, heater alpha to off. Okay, those are complete. Okay, also on R1, cryo H2, tank one, heaters alpha and bravo, two switches, two off, followed by tank two, heaters, that's tank two, heaters alpha and bravo, two switches, two auto. Those are complete. And the last line decks, O2, H2, manifold valve, tank two, two switches to close with talkbacks. Great. I'll check it out. Thank you. Camera is now tracked through the Russian section of the space station. We're in the Zvezda module. We saw flight engineer Yuri Malachenko looking through the windows in the floor. And this is the uh, central post, the main command center of the Russian section of the space station. This uh, forward transfer compartment of Zvezda is attached to the uh, docking compartment, the piers docking compartment module, and uh, which has its own windows from this vantage point. Uh, looking at the uh, Soyuz spacecraft that's docked to the Zarya module, and uh, in the bottom of the frame, now focusing in on the uh, exterior of the Quest airlock, the high pressure gas tanks around its a large diameter. Once again, flying inside the Zarya module, the original module of the International Space Station, the original on-orbit component. Through PMA-1 into the Unity node and the Destiny Laboratory, where flight engineer Leopold Arts is at work. What's that? Everything is ready. We're ready. We're ready to move. Oh, it's good. Oh, okay. okay, recording, voice recording. Okay. Playback ships to... Uh, Seen from Monday's, uh, during Monday's spacewalk. This is the robotics workstation at the Destiny Laboratory, where Mission Specialist Leland Melvin was the primary operator for the space station's robotic arm, Canada Arm 2, for the installation of the Columbus module. We see to his left, uh, Dan Tani, who has a significant amount of experience operating Canada Arm 2 from uh, Okay. is more than 107 days on board as a member of the space station crew. Yeah, so go ahead to the PDG and then you can pull it off the carrier. Okay. Uh, 